The only way, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. William Coper, a hymn writer of a, an ancient era, he said, he penned a hymn called, There is a Fountain Filled with Blood. It is probably one of my favorite songs. Listen to the verse. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunge beneath the flood, lose all their guilty stains. When it was first published 250 years ago, it raised quite a stir because of how graphic the language is. Um, in fact, they kind of tried to dumb it down. One one group changed the first line from Calvary's cross, a fountain flows. But the change didn't last long because people understood that Jesus really did suffer and die on that cross. And the graphic language was needed to describe exactly what took place there because that was a high price that Christ paid to purchase my forgiveness and a home in heaven for me. Now, that's an amazing thought. Ever since Cain, people have been trying to offer things to God in their in their own merit without uh, go, trying to bypass God's plan for us. Uh, we, we've uh, made elaborate religious rituals. We've gone, we've gone through all kinds of, uh, of sort of gymnastic twisting and turning to try to get around God. But there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It, it's, it says in the New Testament that there's uh, neither is there salvation in any other, for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So if you're, if you're thinking that somehow you're going to get to heaven by religious ritual or by some other fleshly human connection, it doesn't work that way. You, you, God is not Burger King. You, he doesn't do it your way. You do it his way. And his way was his son lived a sinless and perfect life and then died on the cross for your sins, rose again the third day so that you and ascended into heaven where he ever lives to make intercession for us and one day is coming back. That Jesus is the only way to heaven. I like another part of the, the song. It says, Dear dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never lose its power till all the ransomed ones of God be saved to sin no more. Dear Lord God, I thank you for these rich hymns and what they mean to us theologically. And I pray that they would mean something to us personally, that we'd remember the sacrifice your son made on that cross and that we'd never ever forget it, God. It'd be etched in our mind in a powerful way and we'd be ever so thankful and ever so grateful and, and full of praise as a result of that sacrifice, knowing that our freedom and forgiveness was bought by you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.